We had a massive downpour mm -hmm. earlier. Now it's clear as you'll take a live look at Monument Circle downtown, but let's bring in Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Narsutis. Are we out of the woods yet tonight with that rain? I think here in Indianapolis, more than likely, yes. I mean, this is a strange atmospheric you know, uh, situation we have going on. It's so hot, so humid that unfortunately these storms kind of pop up out mm -hmm. of nowhere at times and it's hard to predict, but more than likely we're dry here tonight off north might be a different story. So let's take a look at what it looked like for the majority of the day here in Indianapolis. Partly cloudy outside, plenty of warmth, plenty of humidity out there, not all too bad. However, of course, eventually that storm did roll on through uh, right around uh, noon here in the central part of the state and pushed through and caused many issues, power outages, potentials for some capsized boats. I don't know if we have that confirmed yet, but again, it was a nasty storm that pushed on through. And the good news is that we are now no longer looking at storms coming into our forecast. You can see where the rain has been most heavy recently. That's where the uh, temperatures are the coolest, where it's been a little while since we've seen the rain. It's already warmed back up in the 80s and 90s. So uh, it's probably because of that shower in the middle of the day that we didn't get well into the 90s here in Indianapolis. And uh, you can see it certainly left us with a lot of humidity. Dew points in the mid 70s. That's oppressive levels of humidity outside. So it's going to be sticky this evening. Be prepared for it. There's at least a light breeze out of the south to help us feel a little cooler towards the afternoon hours. But uh, we'll be keeping an eye again on the few isolated showers, thunder showers active out near Lake Michigan right now. See if they move into the northeastern part of the state uh, moving forwards. We can see the storm from earlier today has pushed out. We're going to keep an eye on this cold front. It's going to very slowly but surely push through our state. That means that again, the north will be targeted first and then eventually here in central Indiana, it looks like Tuesday, Wednesday, we could be in the path of this slow moving cold front, which will eventually be bringing showers. So here we go. Monday morning, overnight tonight into Monday morning. Most of those storms off north, maybe some of the eve, uh, late morning stuff sneaks into Indianapolis, Muncie, but again, most likely it'll miss us off towards the north like it did at least this morning. As we move into Monday night, again off towards the north, another wave that pushes in, but by Tuesday morning that wave has at least enough oomph to make it into central Indiana, and we could see it firing back off in central and southern Indiana towards Tuesday night. So again, this cold front's very slow moving, which unfortunately gives it many times or uh, many chances to strike us. So it'll strike off north tonight. Tomorrow, again, here in central Indiana, we're looking quite nice, so if you want to get outside, enjoy. Do that in the morning hours. The summer heat will be on full blast in the afternoon. Temperatures into the 90s, likely tying our highest temperature for the year and a lot of humidity. And then again, northern storms once again, likely tomorrow night. Uh, and then as we move into Tuesday morning here in central Indiana, everybody could be on the wet side with much pleasant, much more pleasant conditions coming our way next weekend.